since Magellan landed in the Philippines, we had all turned to the light. Filipinos, who at the time were participating in polytheistic religions, quickly turned to the light of Christianity. The Filipino people were unique thanks to the rich cultural background and this had made the Filipino Catholics unique. The Filipino people in general are a very loyal people as they have great devotions to their religious figures. The following are the five famous Filipino devotions. First, Santo Niño. The Santo Niño, the Holy Child in English, is a figure of a child Jesus which is venerated by Filipinos all over the world, though most of its devotees are from the province of Cebu. The Santo Niño is usually clad with expensive and flashly clothing which is usually lined with jewelry. The statue has been in Cebu since 1565 and is the oldest relic in the country. It is housed in the Basilica Minor del Santo Niño which is located in Cebu City. Number 2. Black Nazarene The Black Nazarene is the patron saint of Quiapo a small but popular area of Manila that is also home to many establishments such as the Quiapo Market and several other stores that line the streets. The Black Nazarene is a life-sized image of a black Jesus Christ carrying the cross and since the year 1787, it has been housed in the St. John the Baptist Church or the Minor Basilica. The statue is only brought out on two occasions, its feast day, which is celebrated on January 9, and on Good Friday. The statue was in the Philippines as early as 1607, when it was brought to our shores by the Spaniards aboard a ship. The statue was burned when the ship caught fire, thus the name Black Nazarene. Despite the burns and the damage, the people made effort to preserve and honor it. Several miracles had been reported by those who have touched the image. Number 3. Our Lady of Pinapafrancia Every third Saturday of September, Naga City, which is located in the Bicol region, celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Pinapafrancia. Whether rich or poor, Bicolanos will be in Naga City to meet their families and friends to celebrate the feast, but most importantly, to venerate the Virgin of Finamprancia, whom they fondly call Ina. On the first day of the Novena, the image of the Virgin, which is a copy of the Madonna located in Pinafrancia, Spain, is transferred from its shrine to the Naga City Cathedral. On the last day of the Novena, the image returns to her shrine through the Naga River Road. This procession fills the banks of the river with spectators and devotees who chant Viva la Virgin upon the arrival of the image. After the flat boat reaches its destinations, the devotees again chant Viva la Virgin and the image is carried back in a procession of thousands to the cathedral. Number 4. Our Lady of Perpetual Help our Lady of Perpetual Help is an image of the Virgin Mary holding the child Jesus in her arms as the Archangels Michael and Gabriel hold the articles of the Passion, the cross and the nails. Saint Luke is said to have been the original artist of this image. Our Lady of Perpetual Help first came to the Philippines in 1906 through the Redemptorist priest as part of their missions to spread the devotions. Number 5. Our Lady of Manawag The veneration of Our Lady of Manawag began with the Holy Augustinian Fathers in charge of the spiritual administrations of the Manawag town in the early 17th century. The ivory image of Our Lady of Manawag was brought to the Philippine shores by Padre Juan de San Jacinto from Spain via the Acapulco Galleon trade. 